What's up, Virgo? This is Soul. And Virgo, we're going to look at some energy for you this upcoming week, starting November 23rd and ending November 29th, uh, 2020. The messages will be for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Virgo Rising signs. Virgo, I hope all is well. Before I proceed on to uh, doing your reading, I wish all the Virgos out there who celebrate Thanksgiving a very happy and safe Thanksgiving celebration. Uh, with that being said, please sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy your reading. All right, Virgo, your week ahead. And Virgo, I am using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot deck to deliver your messages. And with that being said, let's get underway to see what the energy is going to be for you potentially this upcoming week. All right, we're going to start off with your shadow here, Virgo, and it's the major arcana. <laughs> I said all the cards were in the upright, right? And you had the Wheel of Fortune. So, of course, the Wheel of Fortune um, being my fate and destiny card, being at the right place uh, and being at the, you know, not only at the right place, but at the right time for something that's very fortunate that could come up for you. The tire here, I just pick up messages simply because I could be reading for some Virgos who are purchasing tires having some sort of car repair work because of the serviceman back here. This is a card of, um, you know, playing the lottery, but always, if you choose to play the lottery, to play responsibly. This is big wins. Um, you know, it's a stroke of good luck, something turning around in your favor. If there was something that didn't go in your favor or didn't turn out so well for you, now... We're talking last week, so this could be the opportunity of that situation turning around for you as well. So, Wheel of Fortune is here. It will dim down some of the energy if you receive anything negative um, as I proceed. Uh, but we're starting off real good with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, stroke of luck. Then we're going to start off with the Nine of Cups. All right, so it's about relationships. And I like this card here because we are... Uh, Thanksgiving is this week, and this would explain, you know, family members and friends getting together, maybe on a so, you know a small social settings um, type of energy or whatever. But spending quality time with those people who mean a great deal to you, who love you, you love them. What you're putting out there, you get back. And um, I like that. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces represents this Nine of Cups. It's the yes answer to any romantic questions that you may have. Also, too, I mentioned, uh, and even though I say I, I equivalent this to, you know, with that of the star card, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested, that still stands true. But I don't mention enough that this is the uh, wish card, okay? Some sort of wish that you may hold dear uh, will come to pass. But I always say that the wish that you want to uh, come pass has to be something that resonates uh, for you for your highest good. It can't be just, you know, with that will of fortune showing up here, I want to, <laughs> I wish that I hit a million dollars on a lottery, okay? It has to be something that is realistic and achievable, not something that, you know, um, you know, fly by night idea or fly by night, you know, wish that you want. No, this is something that has to be um, something that resonates with you for your highest good and long term benefits that you benefit from it, not from, you know, a passing moment. Now we have the uh, Six of Cups. Okay, so the Cups are showing up here for you. Uh, again, this card may be showing up here um, because it is, you know, the holidays and holidays are here. And sometimes the reflection of those energies of holidays gone past, we oftentimes think about, you know, our attachments and our associations, uh, whether it's childhood or, you know, um, not so distant past. Um, just thinking about those good times. It could be for uh, some Virgos where this card shows up here where, you know, people on the other side that you were once connected to, friends, family members. Um, it could be even pets. We have a dog here. They're just coming through to acknowledge you, to let you know that they're still safe. There's, you know, they're happy on the other side and they want you 
to um, continue onward with your life and uh, find your own happiness. Uh, this could also just be memorializing this particular week could be, um, you know, if it is, you know, related to somebody on the spirit side, the passing date or their birth date, something significant about this date. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces represents this Six of Cups. This is uh, not only going down memory lane, though, uh, Virgo. This is, you know, people here on the physical side who are still with us. They could be thinking about you. You're thinking about them. And then there's a form of synchronicity where either you reach out or they reach out. Then if that's the case, then it's rehashing old time spent, quality time. And that could include people that you were romantically linked to as well. All right. So there you go. Six of Cups. Now, what's up next here is the uh, Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is on a motorcycle. I just spoke about the wheel uh, in the Wheel of Fortune that somebody could be purchasing tires or having some sort of um, auto repair work. Well, this might be a validation for that as this guy is sitting on a motorcycle charging through and then he has what is, you know, in his hand uh, is a wrench. This is the card that usually comes through where there is some sort of assistance needed. Someone comes along very quickly to help you in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, if it's indicative of a relationship, then the speed would only represent how fast the relationship or the connection takes place. The Knight is a court card. It represents fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So, uh, he could also be a messenger. He mirrors the Nine of Cups. I forgot to mention, too, about that Nine of Cups since I do equate that with the energy of the star card. The star card is my social networking uh, card. So it could be that this is a court card and mirrors the nine of cups. And then there's some sort of uh, communication going on where, you know, people are meeting or chatting, striking up conversations that, you know, start off as a friendship. It may just be a friendship, but it could also lead into something more. Uh, so that could be the uh, situation that I'm seeing as well. So he rides in, he could be a carrier or a sister, not a sister, but an assistant in helping you out. Or that romantic connection or platonic connection. Then we have the King of Wands here, another court card. All right, so this is the uh, blind man with the uh, CNI dog and, and, and his walking stick being encouraged by a group of supporters behind him so we don't know if he's entered a race and um they're just cheering him on and giving him support uh, but he's focused on it you know he's really focused on it maybe his mind his focus you know his mind is focused on uh achieving whatever it is that they're standing behind him and cheering him on for okay so it could be so many things but this is a card of passion, still would represent sexual energy, sexual expression, but a, a energy that is related to being focused on something. Now, it mirrors the Nine of Cups, so that could be that relationship, whether it's online, whatever your favorite social media is and that you use, uh, there's some sort of uh, alliance that could be taking place. So yeah, Leo... Sagittarius for the Knight of Wands as well as that King of Wands. Up next is the Devil. And Virgo, this is uh, Capricorn's energy, but you're part of that energy as well. Uh, as well as Taurus. So you have the Devil. The Devil is a card of uh, toxic energy. It could also mean uh, environments that are toxic underneath the relationship card, even though the Nine of Cups is a very positive card. It could just simply mean that there's somebody that uh, is in your circle or in your, it could be your friends, it could be your family, it could be relationship. Um, yeah, somebody is, someone is having drinking problems, smoking problems, uh, possibly gambling problems. He's looking in the opposite direction, not even knowing that he's driving in the wrong direction. The pedestrians are looking at him like, what are you doing? Um, you're about to go down a one way street. So this card calls you to uh, question bad habits and bad relationships, either 
pertaining to self or it's related to other people. Someone could be, you know, drinking, smoking, gambling, um, you know, it could be sexual addiction, some type of uh, toxic energy. You know, you want to uh, break the restrictions and the uh, boundaries that may have been placed on you. Something is restricting you. Something is keeping you bound. And it could be boundaries related to a situation, person, or event. Ruminating thoughts come to mind. Unrequited love comes to mind. If no one knows what un unrequited love means, um, liking someone more than they like you and you're, you're not getting the energy uh, back that you're putting out there. And again, underneath the Nine of Cups, the other cups will, will uh, not only uh, reference other relationships, but it could be specific and uh, it could be children, it could be... Um, platonic friendships, extended family family members, and so forth. So the devil is a lie, and he wants you. And don't forget, too, the devil casts an illusion, making you or making it seem that things are what they are and they really aren't. So, you know, that's a reality check. So, but the devil asks you to bring up those energies, um, you know, uh, not forceful, not forcibly, but, you know, just bring them up to address them because they could be impacting uh, the relationship that you have, uh, not only, you know, involving yourself, but it could be in involving the other people that are around you. Now, specifically because it showed up here, Virgo, I, again, I, I would say it, it doesn't necessarily have to be you per se. Um, it could be what's here on top. Uh, other people that are in your life, whomever they may be. All right, let's move right along here. Nine of Pentacles is your own energies. Uh, so this is paying yourself back. This is rewarding yourself for some hard work that you have done and put into a uh, situation. It doesn't have to be work related. It could be, you know, it could be your relationship. It could be your family. It could be schooling. Um, anything. The bowl of fruit on the table is always what I say, enjoying the fruits and hard work of your labor, but it's well deserved. You're not supposed to feel guilty about it. Now it's time for you to pay yourself back. This could still be a pay raise for somebody, someone getting a job and a bonus. Uh, so think about that. But this is usually uh, extracting money out uh, from either savings uh, in some type of way and being extravagant, purchasing something uh, for either yourself, you know, like it could be a car, it could be uh, doing some sort of home uh, remodeling or whatever, vacationing. I don't know if too many people are vacationing right now, but you get the point of what I'm trying to say. Whatever it is that you worked hard on, now this card comes through to say it's time for you to pay yourself back. All right. So that's your energy. Uh Capricorn and Taurus. Up next is the Six of Wands. So this is victory and success, Virgo. So there's some type of energy. Could be related to a project. Whatever you can attach the victory and success uh, to. You cross the finish line and it's a very happy occasion. This is a traveling card as well. So short distance, long distance traveling. Uh, this is the holiday um, week that I'm presenting these energies. So maybe some of you are traveling. Uh, and it's say passage to say passage from all right six of wands represents Aries Leo and Sagittarius and your very final card here is the uh, two of cups so actually this is pretty good this energy for you this upcoming week is pretty good you start off with the nine of cups you end up with the two of cups two of cups is my invitation card spending quality time with one another it could be children uh, meeting new people platonic romantic um, we have the couple here, it looks like two males, same sex, whatever, could be two females, uh, male and female, and then we have an older couple that's behind them. Uh, so being invited out, okay, um, invitations, uh, seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page, uh, sharing mutual interests, reciprocity, what you're Again, what you give, you get back. 
So the two of cups represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, so this is what I have for you, Virgo. Not too bad. Not too bad. The devil asked you to, you know, because it is, you know, part of your energy to address those uh, bad habits or relationships pertaining to self or if it's connected to other people because it's it could be impacting uh, the relationship that you may have with them, whomever they are, children, romantic partners, platonic family members, extended family members. You get the point. Whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, Virgo, I encourage you to do it safely. Stay strong. Stay positive. Please wear those masks. Um, you know, wash your hands, social distance if as much as you can. Um, but make your, you know, make sure that you stay safe. Keep your family safe and as well as your community. With that uh, being said, uh, happy Thanksgiving once again. I'm sending you all quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you next week. Bye.